I think I'm back. YouTube is giving me all kinds of trouble this morning, so I apologize if you're trying to watch this live. I'm going to try to start from the top again and see what happens. And if I get booted again, I'm simply going to keep recording this and I will upload it later today. So thank you for being uh, patient with the technology. And I'm really sorry for any inconvenience. All right. This is Gentle Yoga for All Bodies with Prosperous Yoga. That is me, Tara. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There I am. Hi. And um, this is a donation-based class. $10 is suggested. This month's uh, proceeds are going to Bushwick Ayuda Mutua. I'm going to get real here for a second with you all because I haven't received a single donation, um, which is okay. I want you to still practice if you can't donate. Yoga is for everyone, regardless of who you are, where you come from, what you do. Um, and I believe that to my core. However, um, I just want to impress the, the need that Bushwick Ayuda Mutua has or Bushwick Mutual Aid. This is a community grassroots um, program in the local community of Bushwick, Brooklyn, where I live. And they have been supporting families through the pandemic um, with food, with toiletries, with uh, supplies for their babies, and... Um, a bunch of food pantries in Brooklyn just closed. They can't uh, maintain their costs, their overhead, all that stuff, um, and still support the community. So Bushwick Mutual Aid actually absorbed all of the need from these other um, food pantries that closed recently. So their need is great. Um, today is September 16th, 2020. If you're watching this and it's still 2020 and you have even $1 to hop online and go to um, this link, bushwickayudamutua.com, there's a donate link. Anything you can give is so super appreciated. You know, if you're watching this from around the world, I get it. You don't know me. You don't want to send me a Venmo and trust that I will uh, share it with the charity. I do. <laughs> but if you, you know, feel uncomfortable with that, I really encourage you, if you can, to donate anything to uh, Bushwick Ayuda Mutua. All right. Spiel over. Um, thank you for participating in Gentle Yoga for All Bodies. This is going to be... Uh, my last live class of 2020. The recordings will remain available on the Prosperous Yoga YouTube channel, and I want you to practice them all the time. Um, but I have to focus on some personal things, so I look forward to sharing donation-based online yoga with you all again in 2021. All right, enough of my clamor. Blah, blah, blah. Cool, let's get started. So today, we're going to move a little bit faster than we have with gentle yoga for all bodies in the past. I'm going to flip over to YouTube quick, make sure that I did not get kicked off. All right, we're looking good. Um, yeah, so this is my morning routine, and it's meant to energize, so it's going to move a little bit quicker than gentle yoga for all bodies would. And uh, it's meant to wake you up. So you can practice this every morning and skip past all my talking, or you can um, just pull the things that you like that work for you and, um, you know, make your own morning routine. Cool. We're going to start lying on our backs. And the reason we're going to start lying on our backs is because I like to wake up with breath work. And oftentimes I do this while I'm still laying in bed. I'm not going to lie. It was hard for me to get out of bed this morning, so... A nice little welcoming yoga practice today will be great. Now, I know that I started late also because of the technical issues. So uh, since this class was scheduled to go to 930, I will give you all a warning in case anybody needs to leave to go to work at 930. Begin lying on the back. I like the soles of my feet on the ground, but you can stretch the legs out long if that feels good for you. Close the eyes. Draw the attention internally. Look inside. What do we feel today? I like to scan through my body. Okay, my brain is already pretty active. Got some pain in my right shoulder. I feel hungry. 
right? So just kind of like taking inventory of what's going on inside your body. Getting in tune with your body first thing in the morning. Start to deepen the inhale and the exhale. Sometimes it's useful to leave one palm on the belly, one palm on the heart. Makes you feel a little bit more held. But the nice thing about the hand on the belly is that it's a good indicator of how deep of a breath you're taking. Are you actually pushing that belly hand towards the ceiling as you inhale and feeling it drop? Belly button to spine as you exhale. Good. Two more super deep breaths like this. Nourishing full breaths, filling your container like a glass of water from bottom to top. Last one. Big ol' inhale, <sighs> sigh it out if it feels right. Cool, so we're gonna continue taking these nice deep breaths, but I want the uh, exhale to become more forceful so that the inhale is almost like an automatic response. If you practice yoga regularly and you know breath of fire, this is what I'm going for, an energizing breath of fire. So when you inhale, you'll fill up. And when you exhale, really slam the belly button towards the spine, push out the air. Inhale again. Right, and we'll continue like this. I'm really contracting my abdominal wall to forcibly exhale. And if you've been practicing this breath for a while, you might be moving really quickly, something like this. Okay? Even if you just do three of these deep inhales and forceful exhales, this is super energizing. If you need to have caffeine, try out this breath, okay? Good. Go ahead and bring the palms next to the hips, facing the ground to support you, and bring the soles of the feet onto the ground if they're not there already. We're going to take a moment to press into the feet, really press into the feet. Press so much that you actually feel your torso kind of um, moving upwards, moving towards the top of the mat, right? This is engaging my abdominal wall, and it's allowing the small of my back to come flat to the ground. Wake, gently waking up the core. And on the exhale, I'll release the pressure from my feet and kind of uh, come back into a quote-unquote normal feeling, but the small of my back is, is off the ground. I can get my fingertips under there, okay? Inhale, press through the feet. Abdominal wall engages the pelvis, kind of tips up towards the face as the small of the back connects to the ground. Exhale, let it go. Good, we're gonna do three more like this a little bit faster. Inhale, press through the feet. Exhale, let it go. This is a very subtle movement, <coughs> excuse me. Inhale, press through the feet. Exhale, let it go. One more, inhale, press through the feet. It should feel really nice on releasing the low back. Exhale, release. When we support the low back with the abdominal wall, the low back realizes that it can do a little less work. And it can kind of release and let go of some of the that may live there. Awesome. We're going to bring the arms out into a T. Knees are going to come into the chest. We are starting with this supine twist. Drop the knees off to either side, right or left. Again, this is stuff that I would do in bed to wake myself up before I stand or come to all fours and oh, indulge in yoga practice for the morning. Maybe you want to turn your nose the opposite direction of your knees so that the twist goes all the way up the spine and into the neck. Deep breathing the whole time. Next inhale brings those knees up through the center, and the exhale brings them 
across to the opposite side. Shoulders are doing their best to stay on the ground or on the bed, on the couch. Maybe the opposite shoulder from the way the knees are facing. Give it a nice twist in the body. Awesome. Oh, excuse me. I had a hard time waking up this morning. Well, this yoga is going to help. Mm -hmm. Deep inhale. Draw those knees in one more time. Good. Take the palms to the knees. Start to draw circles on the ceiling with the knees. This exercise is not so effective if you have a soft surface underneath, underneath you. On a hard surface, you feel a really nice low back massage. So this is one I might skip in bed. Opposite direction with those knee circles. I'm doing my best to give you all tools to create the perfect morning ritual for yourself. Good. Cool. And come to stillness and either rock and roll or just uh, sit yourself up. We're coming to all fours. All right. Good. Come to all fours. Hips over knees. Shoulders over wrists. Inhale. Drop the belly. Squeeze the shoulders together. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Really draw the belly button to the spine as you press through the palms. Press through the tops of the feet. To welcome a cat spine, a big old arch spine, really stretch out here. Inhale, coming back to that cow. Maybe tuck the toes, it's feeling good for me today, and cow. Exhale, press through the palms. Arch the back, inhale, back to cow. Good, last one. Exhale, the cat. Bring those toe, big toes together. Draw the knees out as wide as the mat and press back into child's pose. Good. Now from here, I'm going to parallel my knees under my body, okay? So now I'm in like a parallel child's pose. I'm going to bring my palms behind my back. Maybe you just clasp your palms behind your back. Maybe you can grab opposite elbows, okay? Maybe you have a reverse prayer, or maybe you want to clasp the hands. Right, we're going to try to get into the shoulders here. So if this is enough for you, whatever clasp you have in this child's pose, stay there. If you want some more, I invite you to come into rabbit pose with me. So the top of my head is going to come to the ground, and I'm going to lift my seat up so that I have uh, tabletop legs, hips right over knees, okay? And now, um, if your clasp is opposite elbows, stay here. Try to draw your shoulder blades together. Same thing with reverse prayer or hand holding. If you have a clasp, we start to release the palms. This is the most intense version of the stress of the stretch, trying to release the palms forward um, towards the crown of the head. I'm really getting into some awesome muscles in my shoulders here that are very tight and very tense from how much time we've been spending on computers lately. Good. One more inhale. Exhale. Let it all go wherever you are. On your next exhale, roll up to sitting on the knees, and we're going to come to stand. Yes, we are. All right. Let me just make sure you all can see me. Good. Cool. We're going to do a couple sun steps. Okay, I'm going to do the whole sun salutation. If you've been working with gentle yoga for all body, you just do the first half, right? This part. Inhale up. Exhale, belly button to spine. Roll down. Half fold. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale to refold. If this is enough for you, just repeat that over and over and over again. If you want the whole sun salutation, we're doing three. Here we go. Come to the top of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. Inhale. Fingertips reach up to the sky. Exhale. I like to swan dive it down, but you can also do prayer hands any way you get to a forward fold. 
Inhale, come to a half lift, flat back. Exhale, refold. Either rinse and repeat or follow me. Plant on the ground. We step back into a plank pose. Woof, good morning. We're going to drop the knees. We're going to drop the chest in between the thighs. Going to pull the chest through the hands. On the exhale, tuck the toes, press back to your child's pose, and up to a downward facing dog. Yes, take a moment, pedal through the dog, pedal through the legs, right leg, left leg, right knee bends, left knee bends. We're pressing into the palms, then we're going to come to stillness, we're going to bend into both knees, look forward to towards the thumbs, the booty's really going to be sticking up in the air, and we're going to take a nice little walk on our tiptoes towards the front of the mat, coming back into forward fold. Inhale the half lift, flat back once more. Exhale, refold, and inhale all the way back up to the ceiling. Palms meet in a prayer. The prayer comes to your heart. We drop the hands, palms forward to Tadasana. Awesome. Here we go. One more time. Two more times. Going to move a little bit fast. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive it down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Plant the palms, step back into a plank, lower the knee, drop the chest in between the thighs. Inhale, loop the shoulders up and back so that the heart space comes through the hands, the shoulder blades squeeze together, the chin is parallel to the mat, baby cobra, press back through the palms. Through a child's pose, bam, up to a downward facing dog. Babies, take one inhale here. One, exhale. <sighs> Next, inhale. We bend the knees. We look towards the thumbs. We either take a little walk towards our hands or we take an energizing little hop towards the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, refold. Inhale, we roll all the way up. The hands come out and up overhead. Palms meet in a prayer, which comes through our hearts to Tadasana. Last one. You should be building some heat now, and you should still be doing those half sun salutations if that's what you're on. Here we go. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Come to plank pose. Drop the knees. Drop the chest. Drop the chin. Inhale, loop those shoulders. Shine that heart through. Baby cobra. Press back into child's pose. Press up into downward facing dog, beautiful. Take a breath, catch up with yourself. Ah, exhale, bend through the knees, look forward, take a walk, take a hop towards the front of your mat. Inhale for a flat back, half lift. Exhale, refold. Inhale, slowly roll up, fingertips reach out and up, meet in a prayer over your head. Exhale, bring that prayer through your heart and the hands down to Tadasana, Tadasana or mountain pose. And now after all that movement we just did, whether we were doing the first half of the sun salutation or the whole part of the sun salutation, we were moving a lot. And now we're greeting ourselves with stillness. Close the eyes, go inside once more. What does the body feel like now? Take an inventory. What does the heart rate feel like? Can you feel the blood pulsing through the veins now that we've gotten moving? Notice the feet connected to the ground supporting you and your nice tall spine, crown of the head towards the sky. Excellent. We are gonna step into a warrior two. Uh, your right foot is gonna come forward mirroring you and do this the long way on your mat. I'm just doing it this way so you can see me. Right foot forward, left foot back. You want the outside edge of the uh, left foot parallel to the small edge of the mat. Okay, you're lunging into that front leg and the fingertips are stretching, reaching out, fingertip to fingertip. If you need to go, it's 930, take a Shavasana and uh, have a great day. Yes, take a Shavasana or a resting pose. Go to work, have a great day. 
if you're hanging out in Warrior 2 with me, you're like, Tara, stop talking. I'm in pain here. <laughs> Just kidding. Warrior 2, go. On the next inhale, straight through the front leg and bring the palms up overhead. Right? So now we're kind of in this like strange triangle pose, half triangle pose. Exhale, we're going to really bend the knee into Warrior 2. I'm really stretching out fingertips the gaze should be over the middle finger of the hand that's in front inhale release the right leg exhale re bend good three more inhale this movement can your breath exhale inhale the hips are open to the side of the mat exhale so when i come up boom i'm facing the side of my mat and when i exhale my gaze is over my front hand but in Warrior Two, the hips are still open to the side of the mat. Good. Now go ahead and walk that left foot up towards the right foot. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, refold. Either repeat that much or come finish the sun salutation with me and do a plank. And do a knees, chest, chin. Looping the shoulders up and back. Exhaling through a child's pose, up to a down dog, bending the knees, traveling up to the top of the mat again, do a forward fold, inhaling to a half lift, exhaling to release, inhaling all the way back up, palms reach overhead, the prayer comes through our hearts, we're good. Other side, other side, so your left foot is going to come to the front now, the right foot, uh, outside edge of the right foot is going to be it's best to become parallel to the short edge of the mat. Bend deeply into that front leg. Trying to keep the hip center. Trying to keep the knee over the ankle. There's a lot going on in Warrior Two. okay? Inhale, stretch the hands out into a T. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper into Warrior Two. Look out over that front middle finger. Next inhale, straightens that front left leg, brings the arms up overhead, and the exhale brings us back into warrior two. Good, we did five on the other side, so we have four more here. Inhale, exhale. This should be a nice fluid dynamic movement. Inhale, exhale. And if your body's being cranky because you haven't been awake too long, that's okay. Inhale, you can shorten your stance a little bit. Exhale, and that should be a little bit gentler for first thing in the morning. Good. I lost count. We're going to do one more. Exhale. Fabulous. Hands come to hips. We walk the right foot up towards the left foot, and we rinse it out with a vinyasa one more time. Inhale. Arms up overhead. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Pose at the ground, or you repeat the first half. Knee. In. Inhale to baby cobra. Maybe full cobra. Oh, that felt good. Through child's pose, up to down dog. Taking a walk or a hop towards the hands. Inhaling once more for a half lift. Exhaling to let it go. Inhaling, bringing the arms all the way up overhead. Palms through the heart space. Getting nice and tall. <sighs> once again, let's Pause here and go inside. Look at your How do we feel? Oh, God. We're going to come down, lying on our backs once more. We are almost done. Let me just adjust my camera once more. Good. YouTube Live kicked me off again, but that's okay. I will just post this recording. All right. So come to lie on the back. Good. Legs outstretched this time if it feels okay for you. We're going to inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And in this position here, lying on the back, we're going to stretch particularly long through the right and left fingertips. <sighs> Excuse me, that was incorrect. We're going to stretch really long through the right fingertips and the right toes. 
so that you're getting a really nice right side body stretch. And we don't want to crunch the left side. We just want to really lengthen the right side, which will shorten the left side a little bit, but you don't want to like crunch it. Okay, so really reach into that right side body, stretching the right fingertips and toes away from each other. Inhale and exhale here, trying to create more space in each side of the rib cage. One more inhale. Exhale, release, take it to the other side. Left fingertips to left toes. Stretch it nice and long. Good. <sighs> Creating more space with every inhale in between every bone of the rib cage. Really stretch it out. Oh, exhale. Let it go. Good. I'm going to bring my hands back down toward my hips. I'm going to take a moment to nod my head right to left. And I'm keeping my chin in line with my shoulders, but I'm just kind of stretching out and waking up the neck a little bit for the first time today. Maybe you're watching the recording and it's not the first time you've done this today, which is awesome. Good for you. Get it. And we'll come back into the center. Flip the palms up towards the sky. Shavasana. Final resting pose. We'll just be here for a moment. Laying in stillness, allowing the body to absorb the benefits of the practice we just shared. Relaxing the entire body, allowing the muscles to melt away from the bone. Doing your best with your eyes closed if you feel comfortable to let go of any thoughts any to-do lists. All you need to do right now is be present in this moment on your mat for your body and your breath. Allowing yourself to truly gain every last benefit of yoga practice, especially first thing in the morning, getting you ready for your day I'm going to leave you here in silence for about and enjoy a resting pose. Press out the exhale, belly button to spine. Good, two more like that. <sighs> the next inhale is so deep that the body will start to stir. Roll out the fingertips, the toes, the ankles, the wrists. Maybe nod the head from side to side or lick the lips. on the breath, but gently welcoming movement back into the body. The next inhale draws the arms up overhead one last time. So this time you're going to be reaching long from fingertips of both hands to the toes of both hands, stretching out the body. Good morning, stretch. 
Exhale, let it all go and roll onto the side, either side into the fetal position. Taking a moment here to remember that we all come to this world the same way. Push yourself up into a seat, cross-legged seat. That's not comfortable for you. Grab the edge of a chair or couch. Close the eyes. Place your palms intentionally, either face down on the legs, maybe one hand on the heart and the belly. Take a moment. Honors and recognizes the light in you. Draw the palms to meet in front of the chest in a prayer. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me. Let's bring some more love, put some more love out into the world together. Namaste. That's that. If you are on the YouTube live, I apologize. Uh, and if you're watching the recording, and I hope you enjoyed it. This is gentle yoga for all uh, gentle yoga for all bodies. Oof, that practice worked. I'm super zen out. Uh, gentle yoga for all bodies with Prosperous Yoga, which is me, Tara. We have personalized offerings. If you're interested, go to prosperousyoga.com and fill out the contact form, and I'll get in touch with you. This is a donation-based class. Any proceeds I receive, today is September 16, 2020. Anything I receive from today until the end of the year um, from Gentle Yoga for All Bodies will go to Bushwakayuta Mutua. Uh, they have a great need. So if you can, you have the uh, resources, please uh, go to the link on the screen here, bushwakayutamutua.com. Even a dollar is a big help. There's a lot of hungry people in Bushwick right now, unfortunately. I'm very sad to say. So um, I hope you enjoyed this good morning flow. And I will see you on the flip in 2021, babies. Have a lovely day. <laughs>